1945, this International Military Tribunal has been an almost continual session. In these many months, a record of more than 15,000 pages has been compiled. Over 300,000 affidavits have been submitted, about 3,000 documents have been offered, and oral testimony has been heard from some 200 witnesses. This great mass of evidence, oral and written, almost exclusively of German origin, has established beyond question the commission of the crimes of criminal conspiracy, aggressive war, mass murder, slave labor, racial and religious persecutions, and brutal mistreatment of millions of innocent people. The four prosecuting powers have indicted and hold responsible for these frightful crimes as individuals the 22 defendants named in the indictment. But the four prosecuting powers recognizing that the 22 individual defendants could not by themselves alone accomplish the execution of these enormous crimes have also named in the indictment the Nazi organizations as the principal media by and through which these transgressions were affected. These organizations, some Nazi created, some Nazi perverted, were the agencies upon which the defendants relied and through which they operated for the accomplishment of their criminal purposes over the complacent people of Germany and over the conquered peoples of Europe. The named organizations fall into two classes. In the first class are those which are peculiarly Nazi creations, having no counterpart outside the Nazi regime and which had no intrinsically legitimate purpose. This group includes the Politischer Leiter, the SA and the SS. In the second class are those which existed in one form or another before the Nazi regime but which were corrupted by the Nazis. This group includes the Reich Cabinet, the High Command and General Staff, and the Gestapo. As to this second class, it is not our contention that the institutions themselves were basically criminal, but rather that they became criminal under Nazi domination. Although by its very nature as a secret political police system, the Gestapo was the most easily adopted to criminal purposes and became one of the most effective of all instruments of Nazi criminality. It would be a mistake to consider these organizations named in the indictment as isolated, independently functioning aggregations of persons, each pursuing separate tasks and objectives. They were all a part of and essential to the police state planned by Hitler and perfected by his clique into the most absolute tyranny of modern times. That police state was the political Frankenstein of our era, which brought terror and fear to Germany and spread horror and death throughout the world. The leadership core of the Nazi party was its body, the Reich cabinet its head, its powerful arms were the Gestapo and the SA, and when it strode over Europe, its legs were the armed forces and the SS. It was Hitler and his cohorts who created this police state monster, and it brought Germany to shame and the nations of Europe to ruin. It would likewise be erroneous to view the structure of this police system as something casual or its growth and development as normal political phenomena. For it was planned from the earliest days by the conspirators. The Nazi old fighters had a design for despotism. They built the SA at the outset <clears throat> as a private band of strong arm men to wield the club against the political opponent and the whip against the Jew. They established the SS as the dread guard of the Fuhrer and of themselves. When they seized power, they abolished police protection and substituted police persecution as the mission of the Gestapo. They wiped out all semblance of free government set themselves up in the Reich cabinet with plenary powers. They depraved the highest traditions of military ethics and substituted willing tools for ranking men at arms. <clears throat> they obliterated all other political parties and 
fastened on the German people a political straitjacket in the form of the leadership corps. Deprived the Nazi conspirators of these organizations and they could have never have accomplished their criminal aims. Take away the SA and they would have lost the mastery of the streets. Take away the SS and they would have had no concentration camp system. I should also like to add at this point, Mr. 